So I'll give you an example. Alright, this is this is what happens with me. I'll, I'll you might you probably if you do this with me for a little bit, you'll you'll actually source will manifest something in my experience and it'll be for you and it'll be like an analogy that sources manifest it usually happens through nature or and um uh, it's just crazy some of the stuff that manifests like and i so i'll interpret it into a story that will be an answer for you right and so the other night i um was I was on the dock of the bay that I, I just live right near the water here. And it was it was like eleven o'clock at night so it was pitch black but there was there were lamps lighting up the water and there was this little dinghy in the water and you know when at, at night time there's really strong reflections. So there was the reflection of the boat and and it was and then there was the boat. So the boat was my interpretation, right? The the object. And that was the collapsed wave, right? And then there was the re reflection that was kind of distorted and it looked, you know, it was obviously had ripples and it was in a in a wave form. And every time the boat rocked, which was my solid interpretation, the reflection had ripples through it and that was kind of like the asking so the asking updates the wave right and and it was also saying that you know the the ref the reflection on the water is actually the real because it's 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 infinite possibility that boat could be perceived in infinite ways and it's updated by your beliefs and your asking and and it was kind of like saying, look, flip flip the thing upside down, have the reflection on top. And and say that the reflection is actually the real and the object is actually the reflection of you. Because every every object that you create, or any time that you look at anything, you're collapsing the wave and you know this through quantum physics, you're collapsing the wave into this um it's not it's not actually like we think of particles as like these spheres right and you could really see them as like uh mirror balls or something and but what it actually is it's the braid that's been knit by the phi ratio in different geometric patterns coming from point zero extending outward into into our density and it's it's a braid that it's uh, different, you know, like the sacred geometry. There's like a there's a path that it takes, and it the path that it takes, um, it happens in a way because of like infinite design. It happens in a way where the original intent is un. Um, what's the word? It's been uncorrupted, so it's perfect compression. There's no loss of information from the original intent out, outwards into this density, right? But the, pers the the observer of the braid collapses it into a particle, which is actually just a braid that's been... It's almost like a spring, right? So that the spring's been collapsed or compressed through your ob observation and it forms this kind of torus shape that holds if you've seen I'm, I'm gonna send you some links as well I, w I always send some kind of homework I suppose you could call it but it's you've, you've seen the seven color map on the torus maybe and the torus can be viewed from any perspective and it still hold it still holds all the colors and that's that's the that's the infinite or all that is existing within every particle right and but through your observation which is just a perspective you see the reflection of you because you're all it is as well <laughs> obviously 
So you see the reflection of you. You see the part that you're playing of all it is within everything. And because you probably go through your day, most people go through their day, and I mean 99%, maybe 99.99% of people on the planet, and hopefully, I mean, I know it's getting better and better, but you go through your day thinking that you're the body within the environment, moving through an environment that's foreign, but actually you're the whole field of consciousness happening all the time. And you think that there's actually move like you actually think that there's particles moving through space like you think that um, you know moving a coffee cup across your table is the cup moving across the table but it's actually like an LCD screen or um, it's like com infinite <laughs> definition high definition 3D spherical screen that's updating and every slice of, of the coffee cup moving across the table is a, is a completely new universe and they're all blended together right? so if you're walking through your day you're not walking you're, you're not an object walking through space your space changing and shifting according to your consciousness and I mean the consciousness is so powerful that it can think that it's an object moving through space when in fact it's space constantly shifting and changing. That's how powerful you are. And, I mean, you're doing it effort effortlessly. <laughs> and um, you don't even realize how much of a genius you are.